Okay, uh, this demonstration is to uh, show you how do you know your clay. Uh, how about the uh, shrinkage rate? Uh, how much it is uh, from the wet to dry? How much it shrink? And how much it shrink after pit fire? And how much it shrink after glaze fire? So I'm gonna test it out. I have two different pieces of clay. This is porcelain. It's the usually porcelain I throw with. It's a Coleman mixed with glacier, two to one ratio. And this is B mixed with grog. Okay, so we're gonna test these two. And then I will make a record. After it dry, dry shrink, we measure it. And at the base fire, we measure it. And at the glaze fire, we measure it. Okay. Okay, uh, let's start with the uh, B mix. Okay, so it's about a quarter inch thick. And then uh, let me transfer it down to the board. Okay, so it's on the board. And then uh, we could uh, draw, draw the line. Um, make sure that is the thread is the surface is smooth. Okay. And then let's draw a line in the middle. Cut it into a small piece. Okay, and I have a ruler here, so I use the ruler to measure 10 centimeter or we call it a 100 millimeters so make a mark here to here okay and if you want to make a little maybe every one centimeter make put a dot there all you want to do is just the uh, the whole length, ten centimeter. But uh, to put a dot there, each one centimeter, put a dot. Okay. This is the uh, B mix. Okay, B mix. Okay, B mix clay. So we leave it. Like that, and then after it's dry, bone dry, let's measure the total length so we know the shrinkage rate, the dry shrink. And let's do the porcelain. Cut it into a smaller piece. Transfer it onto the bed. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this will be my test tile for Coleman porcelain, the mixture of Coleman and Glacier 2 to 1 ratio. That's my clay body, the porcelain clay body. So, okay, and then uh, just let it dry, and of course, you want to make sure that it's drying very flat. So I might have something to uh, put it on top of it to compress that while it, they are in the uh, drying stage so that they stay straight, flat. So here is my two test tiles for checking the uh, shrinkage rate and uh, also maybe absorption rate after glaze fire, okay, how much they absorb water. Right, and I will show you the result. Okay, so this two test tile has been drying for two days. 
now it's pond dry so we can measure the uh, dry shrinkage and from a uh, wet clay to a uh, bone dry how much it shrink so this is the uh, B mix and uh, it's about 9.5 or 95 millimeters and 95 millimeters on the uh, B mix and uh, this one yeah it's about the same 95 millimeters um, if you want to be uh, more accurate, you can use the uh, digital uh, measurement uh, caliper to, to measure it. It will be more accurate. So it's about 9507 on porcelain and 95, 95.51 for B mix. So the uh, porcelain shrink a little bit more. Okay, let's say the portion is 90, 95, 9510. Okay, 9510. And the B mix is 9550. Okay, 9550. So that's the uh, dry shrinkage. Okay, portion shrink a little bit more and B mix with the grog so a little bit less. And uh, but I will let it go through the uh, base bisque fire and then uh, check it uh, at the bisque fire and then uh, fire it in the glaze and check it and uh, I will uh, use a drill bit to uh, to make two, two holes here so uh, maybe you, you want to hang the uh, tile for the studio for reference so you can hang it there Alright, so this two test tile has just freshly come in out of the kiln. I just unloaded. You can hear the sound. It's been a bit fire. So I'm going to measure the uh, shrink rate after bit fire caliper, digital caliper to measure it. Right, so it's about 93. 0.75 okay 93.754 porcelain and let's measure the uh, B mix okay so this is 94.54 94.54 after bisque white fire so from uh, bone dry to bisque fire it's not shrink that much okay it's not shrink that much and I will run this to to the uh, glaze fire and uh, measure it after. All right, so this two test tile has been uh, glaze fire. Go through the glaze fire. It's like a content fire, content reduction fire. And now I am going to measure the uh, exactly how long the mug I made, and so that we can calculate how much uh, what is the uh, shrinkage rate for. The porcelain and for the uh, B mix stoneware. So first, let me measure the porcelain. Right. So the uh, porcelain comes to eighty-eight point one five. Eighty-eight point one five. So it's a little bit less than uh, twelve percent. From the wet clay to uh, clay is fired. Uh, let me measure the uh, B mix. Okay, actually they are about the same. The uh, B mix and the portion is about the same. Yeah, it's also eighty eight point one five. Eighty eight point one five. So the uh, shrinkage rate is about the same. So that's uh, actually from my test tile. I don't know about your clay, but uh, if you want to uh, uh, say if you have a lid part, your lid is broken, and then you want to make another lid to fit it, so you can uh, calculate how 
when you throw your pieces, how much the uh, uh, actual size should be and before you throw, after you throw and then um, at the fire so that your lid will fit your body. Okay, so that's our uh, test. And you can test your own clay so that you know exactly how much, uh, what percentage uh, your clay is shrinking. And also, uh, if you're not to uh, see if your clay is kind of a uh, vitrified or not, you can put it in the boil water for extended time and then uh, you wait it before and then you uh, after you soak it in the boil water um, you can wait it again and see how much the absorption rate is your clay body. And well, we can also put a drip of water on the test tile and see how the water is going in or not. Or the water is staying run or the water staying flat. So that's another test for vitrification too. So that you don't need to uh, boil water or put put it in the boil water for like five hours and uh, test it. And let me bring my camera closer so you will be able to see that the two bubbles is, is still still stay in there. So those are two drip of uh, water and they are still stay in there. It's not getting flat, meaning the clay is been. Um, very good for water resistance. So look at that. Uh, it's almost one hour later and uh, the water bead is still staying there. So it's not a very porous. It's, uh, it's very good for vitrification. Uh, right, I hope this test helped. Thanks for watching and see you next time.